Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to Sun Coding again. This video is going to be super duper interesting because in this video we are going to build a calculator using Python. So without further ado, let's get started with the code. So to start the project, we open our ID first. PyCharm Community Edition that we are using as our ID. And we add, our, add another Python file. And we're going to name it as basic calculator. Okay. So over here, we're going to write our code. So what does our calculator do actually? Uh, we're going to demonstrate it first in the comment section. So we made the comment section. And we're going to gives overview like what it's going to do it it takes two numbers two numbers takes two numbers as input as user input adds them and prints the result so this is going to be a very simple calculator. It just takes two numbers from a user and adds them or calculator will add them and finally uh, it will print the result. So we're going to take uh, two user inputs. So let's take the first user input. We name the variable like num1. This is going to take the first user input from the user and we use the input function and let's say uh, enter a number and we're going to take the second input from the user as well and again we're going to use the input function so let's say enter another number number and now we create another variable called result result and over here we add two numbers number one sorry number one and we add plus number two and we finally we're going to print the result print results okay so it should add two number right so let's run our code let's see what's going on what it gives okay it's saying enter number let's enter three and now enter another number let's enter five it should give us eight right 3 plus 5 is 8. Very simple. Let's click the enter button. Oh my goodness. It's 35 here. Hmm. What is wrong? So basically, what's going on over here, when you take a user input from the user, and it is actually a string. It's getting the user as a string. So you have to define it that the use you are actually getting a number. So to do that, what we are going to do, we're simply just going to uh, make it a integer number. So we can just simply use our int function for num1, and we do the same thing for num2, and finally we're going to Hit the run function, uh, run button again, and now let's again input. Let's enter three, and now we're going to enter five. Hmm. Now this time it's working, right? So and and we have uh, made our calculator. Now we're going to do some more calculations. Let's enter three point five, and again what we're going to do with this time? Let's enter. 5.5 and it should give us 9, right? Okay, let's hit the enter button. Mm, it's saying something is wrong. Value error over here. 
invalid eternal for integer right so what is going on actually so if you know that 3.5 is not an integer number neither 5.5 is so we have to input integer number over here right but 3.5 is not imposed in uh, integer 5.5 is not integer so what are we going to do to get rid of this and so that we can do this type of calculation we're going to just convert it as a float number let's make it float and over here we are going to make it float as well okay now let's print the result okay let's give a 3.5 this time and again we're going to give 5.5 mm, this time we're getting 9.0 that means our calculator is working very fine right let's have another try let's try 10.2 and 13 point 13 point 9 mm, calculator is working very fine so this was it i guess now you know how you can build a very simple calculator using python uh, our program is just taking two numbers from the user and adding them up and finally giving the output of result, printing the result. This was it. In the next video lectures, in the next project, we will build more complex calculator. So till then, stay safe, stay happy. So see you in the next video. Thank you everyone.